sound is surprisingly deep. <laughs> I think that that might be the biggest thing that I was really surprised about with this instrument. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I am a music teacher and I'm also a gear enthusiast. So today I have a review on the Nova Go guitar from Enya. So this is marketed as a travel guitar and we're going to be talking about the specs, some sound samples, some comparison to other travel guitars that I have. So if you're looking for a travel guitar or maybe a guitar in general, this might be the one for you. The Novago is a half size travel guitar. The measured body is 33 inches in length. Because it's made out of a carbon fiber and polycarbonate material, it's impervious to temperature and humidity changes. No more worrying about fret sprout or body warping if you leave it in the car or on a hot summer day or in the cold of winter. The bridge is a cohesive part of the top, not glued on as a separate piece. The saddle is a separate piece, so it can be adjusted if need be. It has a solid headstock with covered geared tuners, strap buttons, sound port, and Enya logo sound hole. It has something called a zero fret, and the zero fret is a fret placed on the headstock end of a neck of a banjo, guitar, mandolin, or bass guitar. It serves one of the functions of a nut, holding the strings in the correct distance above the other frets of the instrument's fretboard. The fret ends are polished and rounded edges, so it's very smooth to the touch. These do not have a flat filed edge, they are rounded. I do not feel anything poking at me and there's no chance of it poking, <laughs> poking up out of the fretboard because it's not made of tone wood. So that's really nice because it just gives you some extra reassured peace of mind that it's going to keep its structural integrity. Now, when it comes to, you know, heat and cold, you could keep it in your guitar, I could keep it in your guitar. You could keep it in your car. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm looking forward to that, you know, just more so testing it more so in the heat and see how it holds up. But in the cold, I can do that right now because it's the dead of winter where I live. The action feels nice to me straight out of the box, but it's great to know that you can adjust it to your liking because it has a truss rod. Then here's this silicone, oh, little pocket right there. <laughs> you can see where the truss rod is. It also comes in a variety of colors and it's priced at $239.99. Its accessories include a custom made case for the guitar, a cleaning cloth, Allen wrench, and the strap of the case can also be used as the guitar strap. You'll find the strap adapters in your accessories kit. Simply unhook the strap from the carrying case, attach the adapters to your strap, and now you have a guitar strap. Use the one provided, or you can most certainly use your own. The case is a shell-like case that's going to protect the instrument from getting scratched. It does have some really nice structure to it, but it wouldn't be crush proof, so to speak, but definitely a lot more substantial than maybe what you would think it would be. It's kind of a velvet type softness to the case so that it just keeps it from getting scratched even more so. I like the neck cradle. And then there's just a little pocket underneath the neck. This is where you're going to find all of the accessories. Many people that tuned into my live unboxing asked me about the half size guitar. They were unaware that guitars do come in different sizes. So just for reference, I have a picture of my Nova G, my baby Taylor, which is 33 and three quarters of an inch in length, my three quarter size guitar from Nui Nui, it's made of African mahogany, and my dreadnought sized solid mahogany from Guild. Hopefully this gives you an idea what size the Nova G is in comparison to the other guitars on the market. For reference, I'm barely five feet tall and a very petite person.
sound is surprisingly deep. <laughs> I think that that might be the biggest thing that I was really surprised about with this instrument is that it's surprisingly big for being such a small instrument or a smaller instrument. Now I'm going to give you some sound samples of what this sounds like in comparison to a couple of the guitars from my own personal collection. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and how those sounds compared to this one. Now the interesting thing about the tone is that I think it's pretty comparable to that of a guitar that is made of tone wood. So it has a really unique, I would call like sonic spectrum to it from low, mids, and highs. I was really surprised when I first played this instrument, uh, when I did an unboxing and just played one chord and pfft, I was surprised how big the sound was. Here are some advantages in my personal opinion. I think it's just really cool looking. <laughs> it's just very unique. I love the color, this vintage kind of mint greenish blue. The advantage also is that it comes in different colors to kind of meet your different kind of personal preferences. You have the cutaway. I like the fact that it's a satin finish. It feels really, really smooth. An advantage is the size. I mean, it's uh, smaller, more compact, great for travel, and the sustain on this. It just keeps going. And I think it, uh, it just has to do with the materials in which it's made out of. I mean, it's just going to resonate. It's just going to resonate forever. <laughs> I mean, it's still going. I can feel the vibrations all throughout the instrument, from the body to the neck, to the neck to the body. I could just feel it throughout. I do like the fact that it's just so cool looking. It's unique, it stands out. And uh, for the price point of you know, about $250, you're looking for something that will give you a sound peace of mind. And if this is a conversation, a topic of convenience for you, you're looking for a travel guitar that is really going to uphold well, but yet sound decent and, and it's going to have a really nice dynamic range. This might be for you. Now the disadvantage that I would say to this is that it only comes in a half size. Uh, for me, I grew up just playing a dreadnought guitar. And so that is, you know, a bigger body, 
a longer neck. I'm just used to that. Now, not everybody is used to that, but if you're used to that and you want a different size in this particular guitar, it's not available. So that's something that may be a disadvantage to you if that's something that is a deal breaker for you. Also, it does have neck dive. Neck dive is when your guitar's headstock feels heavier than the body, meaning you have more weight in your fretting hand and your headstock dives toward the floor when you let go of the guitar instead of remaining parallel with the floor. When I'm sitting right here, I can still feel the neck be heavier than the body but it's not necessarily a deal breaker for me because I'm sitting and I'm using my forearm to kind of balance everything. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Maybe if you have a strap that has a little bit more friction to it, like a, a genuine leather strap that has, uh, or suede maybe even, where it has just a little bit more friction on it so it can keep you know, uh, its position on your shoulder so it doesn't slide so much, that may be something to consider. So those are my thoughts on this guitar. If you have any uh, comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Let's start a conversation. What do you think about this? Your opinion matters. What do you think about the price point, the accessories? Is this something that you're interested in? Ooh, I'd really love to know what you think. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Following FTC guidelines, this guitar was sent to me by Enya in PR, and the link in the description box below is affiliated. So if you do shop through my links, the small portion of that sale goes back to supporting my channel. So thank you so much for your support.